Welcome everybody to another episode of Thrifty Kitchen. Today I'm going to talk about marinating carne asada steak. Uh, flank steak is relatively cheap and you know you can certainly mix it in burritos or tacos and a little bit of meat can go a long way. So what I have here is I already minced up some garlic. You want to use fresh garlic. Don't use the jarred stuff. Don't use garlic powder. Fresh garlic for this is really, really good. I have six cloves in here that are already diced up. To that, I want to add a good dose of fresh cilantro. Again, you know, don't use dried cilantro if you can even find it. To that, I want to add fresh lime juice. Uh, you know, again, fresh limes work best. That was a half one. I'm going to add another whole lime here. If you have a hard time finding juicy fresh limes, uh, sometimes they come out a little bit on the dry side. These actually weren't too bad. But if you find dry limes, you can certainly use the bottled juice. It's not quite as flavorful and quite as tart, but it will work for you. To this, I'm gonna add some olive oil. and some salt. And maybe something that's not perfectly traditional is a pinch of sugar. One thing I've learned about cooking over the years is that there's three flavors that really work to make food taste good on your palate. One is salt, two is something acidic, and then the third part is the sweet part. So we have the salt in there, and we have the acidity from the lime, but we didn't really add a whole lot of sweetness. So a little bit of sugar will really, really make this pop once you finish cooking the steak, and you will not know that it was Super sweet. So to this now, I'm gonna go ahead and add the skirt steak or flank steak. You can use either one. And I wanna go ahead and coat that really, really well. So once you have this like this, if you can, pop this in a refrigerator for at least a few hours. I'm going to pop this in a refrigerator overnight, put a lid on this, or if you don't have a lid for your container, seal it good with saran wrap. And then you can broil this, you can grill it in a frying pan in the oven. But the way I really, really like to do this is cook this on the charcoal grill. <laughs> 